Hey, I didn't know if you knew this. Hey, good news, everybody. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news, everybody. You might not have known this because, well, the book is doing terribly, but Taylor Lorenz wrote a book and it is bad. It is very bad. It is so bad that even her woke counterparts in the industry uh, are not giving it favorable reviews. The book isn't exactly flying off the shelves either. It's current, currently ranked somewhere around 2,000. Imagine having all that clout. Imagine working for the New York Times, the Washington Post, having all of these Twitter followers, all these people in the media, and the book you wrote, it can't even crack the top 2,000. And on top of it, the book stinks. It really makes me think that I should probably write a book. Because if Taylor Lorenz can do it, so can I. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, please do hit the follow button down below or the subscribe button down below. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. It's very hard to, to find people out there in the search algorithms. And if you, uh, if you subscribe, at least it gives me a shot. Taylor Lorenz shares her subject's knack for capturing attention, but her book never even asked, is that good? As chronicled in the reporter Taylor Lorenz's new book, Extremely Online, um, the four arrived in New York Park. They were swarmed by hundreds of fans, mostly kids and teenagers. They decamped to a nearby boulder where they snapped selfies and filmed vines and crowd surfed. That's when we realized that Mancuso, oh, these people are real. Lorenz positions Extremely Online not as a history of the internet, but as a social history of social media, an account of the ways that it again and again users have broken free of the constraints of the online platforms that hosted them. Okay, sounds great. Sounds great. Let's see how the LA Times reviewed it. Taylor Lorenz knows social media, so why is her book a dull celebration of marketing deals? <laughs> The LA Times wrote that. I mean, like, what? It, I mean, first of all, terrible cover. Terrible cover. It looks like any old book that you'd see at an airport, um, like an airport store. I hope that it doesn't sound condescending. condescending. It's not meant to be. My point is that if Lorenz truly believes that social media platforms have been democratizing for have been a democratizing force, she is more than capable of producing something more substantial than a fever dream of proper nouns, Pokimane, Mr. Cashier, Jenna Marbles, and the Sheeran group. Grape story. Who are these people? I still have no clue. Most every character in this book, with a few examples, is described as the sum of marketing deals and social media followers. Extremely online is crammed with people, but devoid of life, especially as the social media revolution accelerates and influencers spring up like mushrooms after the spring rain. Well, I'd like to also point out how the book is doing. Michael Malice put this out. Taylor Lorenz's new book isn't exactly firing up the charts yet. Now, I know it's a, it's, it's a feat that should be respected when somebody's so old writes a book that gets published. I think that, you know, when you're in your 90s and you're still like a productive member of society um, by writing books, I think that's to be commended. Um, now, I, I, would, I would suggest that, I would think that perhaps I could crack the top 1,500 in books. I wonder. Without, and, and, and again, this is even more embarrassing because this woman has the full arm, the full armament of the Washington Post, the New York Times, and all these other journalists. Taylor Lorenz literally posted, how internet influencer became the hottest job in America. If you want to understand 
what is happening on the internet, you start by reading Taylor Lorenz. Nah. Nah. Again, the book is currently ranked 1,800. Check that. 1,869. Giggity. That's the bestseller rank. 1,869. The book currently has zero reviews on Amazon. Zero. Unless that's changed. Unless that's changed. Nope. Zero review. Not a single review. A capable piece of historical research that breaks little new ground. Ooh. Ooh. Vulture, in her new book, Extremely Online, Kayla Lorenz highlights the ways that women and marginalized content creators so shape the web. What? Look at all the buzz for this. Vulture has 510,000 followers. 510,000 followers. It received four likes. That's pretty good, right? 510,000 followers getting four likes. Look at all the interest. LA Times, quote, most every character in the book, with few exceptions, described as the sum of marketing deals and social media followers. Alexander Nazarin writes of Taylor Lorenz's new book, Extremely Online, is crammed with people but devoid of life. This, ha <laughs> ha, I love that this has stuck. I won't tell you follow me. You don't even. I'm so glad that this stuck. This is no way to treat your elders. It's got to hurt to get blasted in your hometown rag. <laughs> this is the scumbag who doxed libs at TikTok, then cried about getting doxed herself. The book sounds awful. And then to really bring on, really to bring home the humiliation. The real humiliation. This is a tweet by Chaya Raichik, who runs libs of TikTok. Good morning. Today is October 3rd, 2023, and Taylor Lorenz is still wearing a mask. Not a single person in this crowd is even wearing a mask. Her, whatever this is, is also wearing a giant face dighty. Imagine, imagine. Wait. Imagine. You're Taylor Lorenz. You were at the New York Times, the Washington Post. You write a book. You must think, man, this book is going to sell. It's like automatic. Like I'm going to like Taylor Lorenz is probably thinking, hey, I'm probably going to be a number one bestseller. Like, um, because that's the truth. And, um, it, you know, what's interesting to me is that it is not. I mean, look, I get it. Not a lot of people buy books. Is that her book title? Excrement Online? Is it an autobiography? <laughs> I just, I, I don't even, you know, by the way, this tweet got 10,000 likes. Elon Musk himself dunked on her. She's immunocompromised. You can't even imagine. Just smiling and politely back away, folks. We're witnessing mental illness take root. I mean, this is all somebody that's probably been like on her seventh booster too. Just so, just so everyone's clear. This is somebody on their seventh booster. I don't even understand how you get this, how you get this. Like unattractive individuals wear masks more often than others. <laughs> her dates thank her. She needs prayers. I can't believe Taylor, Taylor Lorenzo's anti-jab. Yeah, I mean, why? I thought she was a supporter of science. Why is she still wearing the mask? And the, the idea that this book, like, I'm not even going to buy it to meme on it, but she wants people to pay 26 bucks. I guess that's probably, I suppose that's probably, you know, it's a hardcover. 15 bucks on Kindle or $5 on audiobook. For $5 on audiobook, Taylor Lorenz better be the person who's reading it. If Taylor Lorenz is actually narrating her own book, I'm great. I'm good with it. And like, I think this is funny. Look at 
best sellers rank oh it got worse number 2095 but it's a number one in social media guides how many of those are getting put out number two in social aspects of technology how many how many of those are even how many books are even put out in those categories So it's, it's, it's falling even. It's now number two, th it's actually getting worse. But it is Taylor Lorenz and we must take it easy on her given her extreme age. But uh, the, the reviews are not good from her peers, which you would assume probably would be giving her sparkling reviews. But that's just my opinion. Happy birthday, Taylor Lorenz. Good luck with your book, Extremely Online. When you get out your final sales numbers, let me know. I'll see if I can whip together a book and, and, uh, and uh, show you how it's done.